Jenna is Christy Mack's friend. She actually visited her in the hospital. And Jenna, you, you kindly d described the scene to us last night. It was, yes. it was something uh, it's sort of a, out of a, some sort of murder scene. Uh, and you spoke to Christy recently. How is she doing? I just spoke to her mm -hmm. five minutes ago. And she's, she's broken. She's having even more problems because of the way people are treating her on social media. They're, they're building him up and saying that she deserves it because she was a wow. porn star. Wait, wait. And this is embarrassing. Wow, wow. This is uh, like Jenna, saying wait, Jenna. that a woman that's wearing a short skirt deserves yeah, to be raped. Yeah, Jenna, that, that actually really gets me. And Mark, isn't there some legal remedy for that? kind? That to me seems like, like bordering on hate stuff, hate crime. Mark? Yeah, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Unfortunately, the First Amendment gives wide latitude for people to spew this offensive, outrageous stuff. The answer is, don't read that crap. Mother Teresa would take a beating in today's world. All right. Yeah. All right. So, Jenna, you you had you have a sort of a, a recommendation on what the MMA should be doing to prevent some of this stuff. And and I, last night you said something about testosterone being used excessively, and, and that's well, a concern, of course. And well, that I, that makes people violent just by itself. But go ahead. Correct. I, I I've been thinking this over a lot. I mean, this has been my life for a long time. I understand this, but there needs to be some sort of mandate in this sports industry. If they have any kind of background of mental illness, if they are testing positive for any kind of medication or, dr or illicit drugs, they need to not be allowed to go pro. And we need all the men out there that are fighters, regular men to stand up and stop falling in line and blaming the victim. I'm tired of it. It's not the way it should be. This little girl did not deserve to get beaten within inches of her little life. Yeah, she I'm... will never be the same again because of this dirty coward. Yep. Mm. Well, we shouldn't well even said. be talking about him. Well, it, this is about Christy. But but you do bring up an interesting point that there that there has to be something. I, I maybe pe require people to be in treatment or be on medication or something or, or screen them out if they really look like they're they're dangerous. What you're suggesting seems reasonable. Well, they shouldn't be taught to kill. Well, th that's there's an interesting problem there with that whole sports in general in terms of how they how they look at it. Okay. Jenna, Je listen, did you, did you say what you need to say? Or you feel good about that? Is that? I do. I, you know, I just really want to be able to be kind of a mouthpiece for Christy. She is really broken, and she needs everybody out there to just stand up for her. Okay, fair and enough. And realize what she's been through, and this does not have to keep happening. Please, if you're out there on social media, support her and tell her that she's a hero and a survivor.